Comrades, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program after what feels like forever. We are back here with our Mir space station now serenely orbiting Kerbin here. And today it's time to put the docking module in for the space shuttle. So that should be a very exciting thing because there's some uh, additional information that I would like to share with you in that regard. Anyway, comrades, uh, yes, it's been a very long time since the last episode. Um, it's not that I didn't always have the time to record, it's that I didn't have the energy to record because after so many activities and so many projects and things which are still ongoing, there's, I don't know, it's just a mental tiredness and uh, there's not really energy for recording. But today is, of course, Saturday and I've made the time for it. So let's have a look. Uh, obviously, we're going to do what we always do and just have a look at uh, the specifications for this mission. But I'm thinking because this module was brought up by the space shuttle, we might as well bring up the uh, part where the, uh, what was it called again, the truss structure that's supposed to be on top of the uh, module here that we still have to attach. That's still something that we need to do and if we're br bringing up a whole space shuttle and it's only going to have a docking module, we might as well bring up this uh, panel and truss and all of that. So that will complete the... Uh, Zvezda here, so that's a good thing. I hope I'm remembering the name correctly. I have to be honest, it's been a long time, so anyway. So, yes, let's see. Let's get into it, comrades. No, of course not. It's the Quant one. Good grief. I don't know where I got the Zvezda from. I think that's on the ISS, but anyway, it shows you how things get mixed up after a while. Anyway, just had to check that, otherwise I would be embarrassing myself too much here. Comrades, here we are, back in our uh, page where we always go for our reference. And uh, before we actually have a look at the docking module here, we can actually just have a look at this image here. I do want to say thank you, comrades, to everyone, because I've noticed in the last few days we've surpassed 700 subscribers despite my lack of uploads, so that's quite an achievement. So thank you to uh, each and every one of you. Uh, I hope we can keep going with that trend and uh, of course I have to uh, upload more and I'm definitely going to work on that. So yes, here's to many more. Anyway, today we're working on the docking module which is a relatively small thing. That's why I thought we might as well bring the Quant One's stuff here. I don't even know what you call this part but it's the truss structure here. So we can somehow figure if we can fit this into the shuttle bay. Anyway, beyond this, I want to share something very interesting with you, comrades. One of our fellow comrades, Max Amir, has uh, shared some photographs with me that his grandfather, who had the great fortune of visiting Baikonur in 1990, uh, took and this is still of the Buran and uh, there's his grandfather so you can see the interesting things here because this was still the height of the uh, the Soviet space program just before the collapse of the Soviet Union so I still think that as an American that was an amazing thing that he actually had access to all of that so uh, also thank you to him and of course to Max for sharing this with me and then allowing me to share this with you. So here we see a part of the uh, Buran shuttle actually, the I guess this would be the forward gear, um, no that's probably there in the back so this must be one of the, the aft section gears. Let's just have a look, this is still, uh, still all in the, the folder here so I have to open them individually. There's the front section. So again this is the actual Buran shuttle which obviously was later destroyed in the uh, hangar there in Baikonur with such a great tragedy but uh, to see the actual things here I can just imagine how wonderful it must have been to actually see this stuff this is like a dream for me so there's another uh, image here of the back wheel and we see the other one in the back there and uh, th this is the main thing that uh, sort of prompted Max to share this with us. This is the adapter. Now in this picture we can't see it that well. Now this is obviously what we're building today to a certain extent because this was the original Buran Mir adapter. Now 
when it was clear that the Buran was not going to dock with the Mir station anymore after the collapse of the Soviet Union, obviously this was adapted to the shuttle Mir uh, adapter section. So I'm not quite sure if this is uh, based on the same design. I think they changed it a lot because obviously it had to interface between American and Russian technology. But if we have a look at the next image, we can see very clearly here, this is uh, very much in development. I'm actually wondering, we have to compare this to uh, the images that we can see of the existing, or not the existing one, it's not existing anymore, but the one that was actually sent up for the shuttle. So uh, obviously we see there's some thing, I wonder if there was another docking port there. Very, very interesting, so much detail here. That's why I think this is so fascinating that actually he had access to these and he could take pictures. I mean, the Soviets were notoriously paranoid about letting their secrets out. Then uh, there's the Energia as well. Uh, this is something we still have to build in KSP. But just imagine seeing this thing in, in real life. I mean, this is now uh, part of history, but good grief, there's the actual thing. Then there's the engines as well, of course, very powerful engines, very efficient engines, actually some of the best in the world. And there's the pad from which the uh, Buran Energia launched. And let's just see, there's the uh, his grandfather again in front of the, or this might be one of the team members. I'm not sure if we compare with the original picture. No, it's the same. It's his grandfather. Just checking here. So this is now in front of the Soyuz pad. Now we can see there what's written there on his shirt, but obviously there's some kind of cooperation happening between the US and the Soviet Union there. And there is the Soyuz being built. Now I'm not sure which Soyuz this was, but we can probably go back in history and look at which missions were launched back in 1990. And uh, we see it actually being built here. So fascinating. Thank you for sharing this with me. It's uh, really interesting to see a first-hand glimpse into history like this. Fascinating. So if we now have a look at the docking module for the shuttle, I think I, it's very difficult to say now because the thing that we saw in the image, if we just go back to that one, it's very possible that this is inside the uh, sort of covering here. It's very difficult to judge, but uh, very interesting. It has these side uh, structures here. I'm not really sure what that is, if this picture will load now. It's also orange, which might be interesting. I wonder... If we're going to use the 1875 meter parts for this, I'm not sure why this image is not loading now. But so there we see sort of st struts basically on the uh, sides holding up those panel things. Very scientific terms I'm using here. And there we also see it. Now let's just go back to that image. Hmm. Now it looks a bit different. I was just looking at the structure that's holding it in place there. Now there looks like some kind of a docking radar, or not even a radar, this is like to line up properly with. I wonder if we can also create something like that. So I assume this is the side that the shuttle actually docked with, and that was its guideline there. Let me just have a look here, it's not really possible to see there. So if we look here, I'm guessing it's the same on either side, so it has the central tube and then it gets narrower on either side and then of course it has the docking ports and these two structures on the side and then in between those I guess it's in between those can't see there it is on the back yes there we have this marker basically for the docking and there's what it actually looks like inside interesting I wonder what this is for mere docking module Compared to the, okay, I'm not sure about that. And this uh, approaches the Mir station. Hmm. I'm not sure if it was actually delivering it there or if this is one of the later missions. But in any case, I think we can probably use the 1875 meter parts because at least we can get a little orange in that. And if we look here, then this looks like a 1.25 meter tube which then goes wider in this section. So that sort of makes sense there. 
Well, okay, I think that'll do, comrades. Let's build this thing. Oh, wait, before we go, let me just have a look at the quant aspect here. I probably have to look this up quickly. Let's just see if we can see other perspectives here. Probably not, because a lot of these don't show the truss segments. Although this one does. Uh, yes, it's just basically two truss pieces or uh, segments of truss pieces built together. Here it looks a little bit different, but I guess we can go off of this. So we're going to have like panels on the bottom there to just hold everything in place. And then struts as well on the sides. And then I'm not sure how long we'll make this. Let me just roughly guess here. It's not quite as long as the Kvan 2 here, but almost. Then we'll have some piece on the end there and then another segment. Now how we're going to get this in place, I'm not sure, because we can't exactly put a... A probe core on the top here to guide it into place. That might be a challenge. Hmm. But let's see anyway. At least we'll do something like that with the docking module. And then that part can re-enter the atmosphere then. Just so we get rid of space debris. Alright, let's get into it comrades. Okay comrades, here we are back in our habitat in the uh, vehicle assembly building. Now let's just have a look here. I'm not going to put a probe core on that docking module segment. So let's build the uh, uh, vehicle that will basically move it into place first. We might just use one of these uh, remote guidance units here. Now this does have some reaction wheel torque here. So I think we don't need to put another one on. So I guess really because the shuttle is going to be very close to Mir when we release this thing. So we don't need that much fuel. I'll just put uh, that even is more than enough, of course, even for deorbiting it later. Hmm, I'm not going to worry about what this looks like here. Let's just find a decoupler. So this should probably be that size. Uh, we're definitely going to need some power on here, though. Just throw on some batteries. Again, this is now a very ugly thing here, but that doesn't matter because it's not going to stick around. Then, where's the center now? Actually, no, we need a place for the various reaction thrusters. Just somewhere in the middle. Again, this will change now based on the mass of the actual docking module. But there is the basic thing. So now on top of this, we need a docking port. So I'm just going to use the normal docking ports for both sides because I think that's just the most, most plausible again to make it more comfortable for the astronauts to actually move through. We can use the small ones like we did with the Soyuz, but again, this is now for more, uh, desperate measures I guess so now it needs to go a bit wider let's have a look hmm. so this will be the side pointing to where the shuttle uh, shuttle will dock eventually now we could use this and then that's gray and white but still we're not going to match the colors exactly but I think this could do now a central part we could use one of the structural tubes and there was actually a comment a while ago that that would have been a better idea for the uh, shuttle boosters to actually use these structural tubes because they weigh less than empty tanks and that's certainly a very valid point but in this case i think we want to stick to the tanks because at least we get some color variation now is it necessary to have these sort of features on the outside. I'm not sure. I don't think that's really necessary. Though I'm actually wondering, is it necessary to make the thing this wide? It would probably be a bit more realistic, I suppose, to just stick to the 1 to 5 meter diameter. Let's just have a look. I just want to get back to the tubes now. Uh, I think the smallest is that. Yes. Now, it shouldn't be too long, more or less like that. And it does sort of give that suggestion of going 
wider there but maybe we'll just stick to this one it's difficult to say what this is going to look like in the uh, in the end where it's docked to the station I don't think I want to make it much longer than that though but there's at least a hint of orange although we could try something else now that's just grey what about this one still just grey so I guess we're married to this one then just take all the fuel out and then do the same on the other side hmm I'm not sure if it should be longer. We must compare it to one of our existing modules. That's the thing. Let's just get another port up there. Now, it's going to be docked to, let's just have a look, to the Crystal module. Just have to remind myself there. So don't save and let's just load up the Crystal and actually see what it's going to look like. Crystal, uh, merge and just dump everything here just get me the actual module no I messed it up mm. well let's just have a look at that does that look more or less right I don't know I don't think I like this going wider and then narrower again because if I just look back at the Actual, I want to see a photograph of the thing. Let me just find one. Hmm, I want to see where it's in position. Now the thing is loading again. Good grief. Mm, okay, I don't, I'm not sure. It's difficult to see actual images of the thing. We just see some that's inside the shuttle bay and obviously diagrams of various descriptions, but I don't actually see a photograph, although this is one that's very small. No, I don't like this. This is definitely uh, too round in the middle here. It, it needs to be either longer or narrower I think rather narrower so let's take this thing back and just go back to the original or not the original this was the original idea the other one now getting it to be orange or at least something other than white is going to be a problem I'm not sure if I like this with the stripes but at least it adds oh no 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 we'll just use RCS tanks, of course. It's a lot of white in there, but at least it gives an idea. Uh, how big should this thing be? Actually, I want to load up the shuttle, because in that image that I saw now of the docking module in the shuttle bay, is this the one, Perseverance? I think so. Good grief, it's been too long. It's basically the length of one of the segments of the shuttle cargo bay. That's roughly right. I think if I take out another one, it's going to be too short. Uh, it could still work like this. Maybe we'll leave it like that. So this is not going to be a very, very impressive module that we are attaching now, but it's a part of the structure so it's a very important one as well now let's take no we just don't want to move that now just want to see if we can make this look a bit nicer here without these little gaps in between yes yeah, something like that okay that looks a bit better and at least it has I know this is not really orange it's yellow but hmm. oh well something at least okay now we need to put the side things on I don't know what else to call them now what are we gonna do for that that's too big I think it's possible but this would have looked better now with the bigger diameter but I don't think that would have looked nice in the end I'm not sure what else we could use though. Something square. 
Now, with those modules like the crystal, we use these panels to create those side structures. So, it could work. Mm, let's try it. Now, obviously, in this case, I think it would be better if we go to the uh, space plane hanger. And just take this. And then use the uh, mirror symmetry. That's definitely going to make it easier. Now, why can't I see this thing? Need to move it all the way down. Okay, hopefully that's gonna give us a good view. Now, if I look back at this thing, hmm, those side things are basically the length of the whole thing minus those uh, round segments on the ends. But in this case, the docking ports are those round segments. So let's just take a small structural panel. This is the smallest that we have. Now, should it be like that or like that? Hmm. I need to see it from the side. And now, of course, all the photos that show it are showing it from the wrong angle. Okay, this is a good one. Well, based on that, it's actually almost right hmm difficult to judge I think we'll take this one this is probably the closest so let's move this thing in a little bit just so those sides don't leave the gaps there and move it up a little bit now, can we make this look decent? That's the question. Maybe I should build it first and then attach it here, but I'm not sure if that will work because I need to know the length here. Uh, I'm very dubious on this because I think this will look a bit too big, but then we'll just move it back further into the thing. Oh, good grief. No, come on, man. Too many attachment points on these things. It makes it almost impossible. Now, is that right or not? Hmm, I guess that's... That's looking okay there. We're gonna have to overlap them, though. Oh man, this is almost impossible. Now, sideways, please. Oh, now of course you're not going to play along. Okay, well, let's try this again. That's easy enough. Now just move this down a little and then in. Otherwise, we're going to get a lot of clipping effects. Okay. Then, basically we just do the same thing on this side. We just get this attached here. Just going to have to move this a little. Yes, that's basically the right length. I'm still not sure. This looks a bit too big, but... We can make this work. I think this will probably be the most close approximation that I can make. Yes, we'll take this. Although now I'm thinking it should be further out. Well, we can move that later. Let's just finish the thing. Actually now... Oh, does it matter now? We could just take one, put it there in the middle and then build it because that gives us the length and then attach it on the sides, of course. Makes it much easier. Now, in this case, again, that's it. Hmm. Well, let's play around with this a little. Just want to make it look nice. It has to complement our station. 
Okay, now this thing needs to move down a bit. Don't like this. Alright, that's not too terrible, although this is not exactly right. Hmm. Alright, that'll do... Oh, come on, are you kidding me? Why is it one-time symmetry now? This one-time symmetry thing is really taunting me, I have to say. It's not the first time this has happened. Just get the thing right. There we go, and... That'll do. Now, okay, at least that's one thing, good grief. Now we have to put these on both sides. Actually, now we don't need batteries or anything inside of this. I'm not sure what this is supposed to do. Now let me just compare again if it's at that angle. Mm -mm, no. That's way too far down. I guess it's just going to have to be back where it was, unless I don't use angle snap. Mm, let's try this. But now it's going to look weird because it's not the right angle. Maybe this will work. Right, I think that'll do, comrades. That gives us at least the uh, the idea here. Now, I just want to go back to where we saw those struts holding them up. So we've got one on either side here. At least it looks like struts. Uh, there's something on the bottom as well. Well, we'll just have to approximate this. So, one on either side, let's say the midpoint. Now, it's going to have to be beneath the midpoint. Somewhere here then. And then it meets roughly in the middle. Yes, that'll do. Now, we need to find a way to get this little marker up, but of course it has to be on this side for the docking. Now, what on earth could we use for that? Something small. This could even work, although we don't need a probe. Let's see. Well, the smallest diameter that we have is uh, this size. Hmm... Something that's going to look decent. No, let me just have a look again at the... Uh, I was just thinking maybe even a junior docking port. But that would be a bit weird. Then we have a docking port as a guide for the docking port. No, that's that's crazy. We'll, we'll use the Probodobodyne, I think. Why not? We don't have to control from that. Now, how... Can I install this? I think I definitely want snapping for this. But now it's not sitting nice in the middle for some reason. Oh, it's attaching to all of the stuff there. Hmm. I suppose that's what it will have to do. Just get it in place and then move it around a little. That's a massive thing. I know it's way too big, but it's something at least. Now it's floating in mid-air, but if we look at the image again, it looks like there's a strut thing that's holding it up. Just want to see another perspective on this. Hmm. Why do people always confound me? All the main photographs of the thing is uh, its from the wrong angle. Now, what about this one? No, I don't know what the heck is going on there. 
because it looks like there's one central strut and then one on the side but okay well we'll just improvise comrades so I'll put one I'm wondering should that thing be further away maybe but it's because it's so big that it covers all the space there okay and then one strut holding it up in the middle Actually, that would look quite interesting, like the strut is an actual physical element there. Then there's also ones on the side. Now, the thing is, this is a bit of a problem because the round segments on the ends of the docking module are actually a bit longer than this. Oh well, we'll see what we can do. Now if I just have a look, because it almost looks like it's coming from a bit more to the front. But uh, that wouldn't work. First of all, where's the other strut? What the? It's on the... Oh, it's because it's not mirror symmetry anymore. Mm, that'll work comrades now let's put something in the middle here to make it uh, look like a target with that little almost like an antenna thing in the middle maybe we'll even use that we won't deploy this antenna of course and I'll just move it in as far as I can luckily the strut is blocking it there Something of that nature, comrade. So there's our little guide for the docking. And there is a strut thing on the back as well. But we'll need to attach to something. And I can't see what that is. Almost looks like a little triangular piece. Not quite, but maybe we can use one. Let's just go back to structural and... No, I don't want to change the color now. Now, where exactly is that? It's basically where the uh, side things start. So basically at the top there. Then it just points down like that. I'll just move it in. And then we have... Looks like one strut going all the way to the back. Maybe this is some kind of reinforcement, which would make sense. So all the way to the back here and then it attaches to that. Mm, it's going to be very difficult to judge that properly. But that will do, comrade. So that holds uh, holds it up there. So there's our docking module. Surprisingly complex for such a small thing. But okay, that'll do. Now, uh, are we sure? No, we're not sure that the fuel is all removed. Now it is. So now it's an actual docking module. Let's just save it as such. Save. And where's our center of mass? It hasn't moved too much, so I can just move this a little bit forward. Why has it gone in now? That'll do. That'll just make it possible for us to uh, attach it there, because of course we don't have any working arms. So, uh, yes comrades, let's just put a decoupler on the end here and put it to absolute minimal force now that'll do for this now i'm wondering if we'll be able to fit the uh, str uh, truss thing in as well we should be able to but now actually let's just put this as a sub assembly i think it might work better so reroute from there to there 
and go to sub assemblies and put the whole thing in there so we can actually put it into the shuttle uh, docking module save now let's go back to the VAB and load up the shuttle now I hope I remember how to fly this thing that's another story open let's see oh yes there's another thing uh, this has now again been a very long time but somebody recommended that I put a probe core or something that I can control the shuttle from inside the uh, engines here so that we don't have a struggle with this uh, line of thrust versus the way that we are pointing and which one was that there action group number two it's a docking port that I put in there so it helps me to uh, control the thing now let's uh, find the sub assembly here and then just attach it to the back it doesn't oh no what are you doing what are you doing it doesn't like the uh... oh dear it's messing up my strut now the one side is right but the other side is wrong okay throw this away go back to the other uh, symmetry thing yes that's the thing I've noticed that if you go back to what is it radial symmetry then uh, if you have struts like that it messes it up so you have to make sure to keep it in mirror symmetry but that will do comrades now how big do we need to make that truss thing I think we could probably fit it in here just I don't know how we're gonna maneuver it into place yet now let's save this as let's pretend this is a new shuttle what should we call it actually we could even call it uh, was it the Atlantis that took up the uh, docking module it's easy to find out yes the Atlantis so this will be Atlantis comrades and we'll know of course this is the one that we use for the uh, docking module now uh, the thing is also we have to build a space inside there where we are actually gonna dock to that's another story now so we won't exactly have space for the truss as well now what on earth does that look like actually we did see a picture of that that's when I said it's uh, the one meter thing so it's basically just a tube that runs from the front of the shuttle and then upward and then it's attached to the sides okay that'll do so let's use an actual tube for that and then I'm not sure how long this has to be this is not not uh, too precise it doesn't matter that much we can work on this more later now somehow I have to attach to this now I can't put another one on that so I'll probably have to use another strut our old friend here and then just move the whole thing in although that doesn't look too nice there how are we gonna seal the thing let's just use one of the uh, nose cones for that at least it's semi plausible it's sealed there we're not gonna have the atmosphere escape and then move this in now it's shifted for some reason why did you do that I think we need to make this a bit longer and I'll just have to hold in shift all right and now we of course make this one longer as well just like that so everything still fits and then of course we put a docking port on now in Kerbal terms we don't need this docking module because obviously our docking ports are all interoperable but uh, we are still trying to recreate the thing here so that'll do I just have to put the struts on now 
just having some tea here. Now again here I'm not going to worry too much about recreating the thing. I'm actually wondering if it will work. Now, I've noticed this before. If you try to use mirror symmetry in the VAB, it doesn't actually work properly. Hmm, now what? I guess I'll just have to do it individually. We could, of course, just move it into the uh, space plane hangar, but... This will do. After, after all, that's now not the main focus here. But that's fine. That holds the thing together anyway. Now, there's obviously not enough room for the, the trust thing, so we might have to do that in another episode. But let's launch this thing, comrades. Let's see what we can do with this. Close that. Now, who's going to be the crew? It's... Uh, no, now I move it back anyway. Maybe I can just use this opportunity to fix that. The problem is sometimes when I move back into the uh, space plane hangar, the game crashes for some reason. That's why I didn't really want to do that, especially with a large vehicle like this. Same problem. It's oh no, okay, it works. It looks like it's gonna give a problem, but it doesn't. All right, I know that. Oh dear, that's not the same. What's going on here? Now it does give a problem. I think it's because the uh, tube was not placed in mirror symmetry. Uh, shall we change it? I suppose so. Let's see if that makes a difference. Doesn't look like it. No, this messed up both of them. Oh dear, well, hmm. What if we do it from the other side? Nope, just the one again. Ah, oh well, let's go back to the uh, VAB. Now, let's just get this thing back, just for uh, holding it together. Just do one at a time again. Actually, if I do this, would it not work? Nope, doesn't work at all. Just one at a time, no luck for me here. Now, even this is not working. Okay, never mind, comrades. Let's just leave it like that. Just put a uh, auto strut here. And I did change the auto strut on the station to be to the root part as well. Thank you for that. That's uh, very good advice there. Now let's see if we uh, need to change things here. Do we still... Uh, I think the fuel levels are okay. This is obviously a very light payload. But our torque is... Uh, is that okay? I think the most important one is the uh, third stage there. The first one doesn't matter because I just th uh, throttle the engines to balance it. The last one doesn't matter because then I'll control from the uh, docking port there. So I think we're okay. I'll just save this again and we'll have to look at the crew now. So who do we have here? Valentina, I think she can be the main pilot. And then Agavan as well. Let's just swap them around there. Oh, I did actually. Uh, no, let's take Lenvis and then a scientist and another scientist. Luke and Mac. Why not? And let's go. Obviously, we have to wait now till it passes over here. But I think we'll do this from the normal launch pad. And we'll just match the inclination. Because obviously, the shuttle was not launched from Russia. So uh, it had to now just make sure it cross the orbit correctly. So let's see if we can do this. This is a good way to return back into the action, comrades. Okay, there's the shuttle. Will you hold together? Hmm, hopefully. Do I still know what to do here? Good grief. I should know. Now, where is the uh, station at the moment? Where are we? So we are there. Mir is now not in the right place. So we're actually going to have to wait a long time now. 
Hmm. I'm actually going to wait till we're back here again. Obviously, I wouldn't put the crew in uh, in a shuttle for a whole day just waiting to launch. Let's just get back, just so we launch in the daytime. I think it makes it a bit more interesting. Right, that'll do. Save that. Cannot quick save. Try again. Okay. Now, which way do we go? We go north, so about 45. And of course, I have to remember the offset from the planet's rotation as well. Uh, in this case, I'm going to start with a very low throttle because... We don't have a very heavy payload. So comrades, I'll see you in orbit if we make it. Hopefully I know what I'm doing here. Five, four, three, two, one. Well, comrades, it wasn't the absolute smoothest flight here. Uh, I also released this tank a little bit too late. It should still re-enter. Well, it'll probably be here forever, but it's uh, definitely going back into the atmosphere. The problem is, so are we. So we need to uh, burn up, I think, is the uh, right thing to do at the moment. Let's turn all of that off. Now, I don't want that to separate though, so let's just move, no, 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 move that into its own stage. Activate that, press 2, so now we're at least seeing the appropriate angle here. Of course, the docking port is a little bit rolled off axis here, but that's okay. At least we see our direction of thrust now. So let's try going this way. Yes, there we go. Just want to be in the atmosphere. That's it. Don't need to do too much more. I want us to be lower than the station so we catch up to it. But we're pretty much on the opposite side right now. So it's going to take a while. Let's open up the uh, cargo bay here. And then at least we get a little power through the solar panel on the payload. I should still put solar panels on the inside of the shuttle. I never did that. Anyway, comrades, I think in this case I am going to go back to the uh, tracking station and wait until we are closer to Mir, and then I'll get back to you. Right, back with Atlantis, comrades. It's been just a little bit, three hours here in-game now, but we are almost up to the station. I might have actually waited a bit too long. What's our offset? Maybe we should fix this first few degrees there should help. Maybe if we uh, burn prograde we can meet up as well. Let's see. What does that give us now? 24 kilometers. Mm. Not so great. Now let's fix the uh, offset here first. Just lock to target, please. 
and we are still controlling from the correct place so this helps of course with these automatic maneuvers because I don't have to calculate the uh, offset thrust there so let's get to the node uh, there's a wonderful sunrise let's just go back to the free camera and hmm this is not quite right just go normal if I close that are we yes we are in the right place there we go and that's it so let's see now where do we need to burn prograde probably at the apple apps uh, maybe not quite I think it's too late that's seven kilometers four three one see there we go so three minutes comrades then we burn four seconds and we will meet up with Mir relatively close we don't want to go too close of course and then we will release the docking port and see if we can dock this thing I so love KSP. Mm. Twenty seconds. Mm, our talk here is a little too much. That's a problem. I should have adjusted that a little. because the payload mass is different from the last time we launched uh, just go prograde and lock there this one five four come on focus on this one there we go 400 300 200 that will do comrades that will do now let's go Ah, love this, love this. So we will be within 9.9 .9 kilometers, so within 10, and then 200 meters in 2 minutes. Now let's just see how much we need to offset here. Not too much, luckily. So burn. I need to think. Retrograde, we need to cancel this. Lights, please. Should put lights in the cargo bay problem is again now this is on the dark side we'll just have to have station keeping until we pass around 60 seconds okay I think we should probably do this now 17 frames per second now ish It's definitely the planet shine and all of that. That's adding a lot to the uh, demands here. Right, zero, 00 in 35 seconds. Uh, let's slow down. I think this is not healthy. 15 frames now. Uh oh. This is not good. Turn off planet shine. Let's see what that is will do you see it's on the high quality put it on the low quality of course it's night time now so this might not actually help it's still 15 frames Ten, nine. I think we should get to within a hundred and then stop Okay, now let's just leave it on retrograde. Uh, can I not turn this off? Hmm. So all the various things now eating into the performance. It's 14 frames now. Good grief. The station is uh, becoming quite a monster here. 
No, 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 this shall not do. I'll have to uh, change some things. It's probably also the clouds and stuff, even though we don't see it. Okay, just stop now. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, 0 0.1. It's not perfect, but this should be fine. Let's just F5 again and go into the daytime. Just monitor there. We're drifting away a little. That's fine. As long as we don't collide. It's 12 frame, frames per second now. What the? This ain't good. Right, so I had 11 there for a minute. Good grief. No, 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 no. Okay, stop right here. Now we're drifting very far away. So, uh, hmm, point towards the target. I just want to see what we can do about this stuff here. It's already on the lowest quality here. On, off. There, turn it off. 16 frames. That didn't really help, though. No, then we might as well leave it on. On and go back to the way it was. I doesn't really have an impact there. What about the other mods? Clouds and stuff. This might also be something, the distant object thing. Uh, dynamic sky dimming, if I put that off, no difference. I doubt if this will help. 15 still. Nope, I'm just gonna have to play around with this later. For now, we just want to get this thing done. Okay, it's gonna be zero, zero again. Just wanna make sure we turn around here. Turn off the lights, maybe that'll also help. Nope, still 15. Yay, 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 yay. Everyone's happy though. Can I change this stuff while we're in game and recording? That's the other thing, because the recording is also adding a little bit of a demand on the system here. Uh, ambient light boost, all of that, shadow cascades. Let's turn that down a little and I'm not sure. I'm not going to change the uh, texture quality. Just apply that. See if that makes a difference. Nope, still 15. It might just be... Uh, too many parts here. But I'm sure it's the clouds and stuff as well. We'll look at the part count in a minute. We'd be very interested to see that. Okay, let's just get alongside Mir and log to Retro and let's just burn this off. No, 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 no. Stay on the target. Ah, I had it there for a second. Okay, zero, zero. And I'm getting males here. Good grief. Let's just F5 again. Alright, so now, where is it that we need to dock? Turn off RCS, please. I think it is right there where it's actually selected now. It's telling us exactly where we need to go. Now, if I go back to the uh, diagram that we're using, those two side panels need to point outward to where the Soyuz is. Or is it in uh, our case the... I think it is the Soyuz. No, that's the progress. Oh well, that away. So let's detach this thing now and hope for the best. Seems like a violent thing there. Good grief. Right, let's see. Uh, RCS, I am definitely wanting to control from here. Don't want to make too many sudden moves. And where's the target again? It is that port right there. This shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, we've had much more difficult 
stockings before so i think we'll definitely leave the uh trust thing for the next episode or possibly the last one i think the last one because we still need to put uh, a module in i think it's priroda if i'm not wrong just go back to the mere thing yes priroda the earth sensing one that's our last piece and then of course after that we'll do sort of the the capstone here and put the trust thing on and that will be that for mir now i think we're actually drifting over the thing now which is good let's just point to the target I'll maneuver this a little bit. I just want to cancel out this drift that we have here. Okay, that will do. We're pretty much pointing right towards it now. So let's just get closer and then I want us to roll. like that so this uh, antenna basically has to point towards the progress there now i just want us to i uh, should probably use the docking tool here but i'm probably not gonna bother just wait till we're roughly over the thing More or less like that. I think this will do. Now I actually want to just have a locked view of this thing again. Although um, I wonder if this is actually going to show us. Yes it will. Okay just again for the angles here. Let's just slow down a little. Although no it's right I just want to roll here. Just, this doesn't have to be too precise, but as close to zero as possible. Of course, any move I make takes a while to cancel out again. Zero, zero, stay there, stay there. Hmm, we're not perfectly aligned. Hopefully it's not going to change in the last instant. Come on. 17 frames, so I think something helped. Yes, 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 yes. Go, 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 go. Another mail. What the? This is a setting I need to change in Windows. Bang! Okay, zero, zero, I think it was. So now we just need to get rid of this thing now, which is a lot of fuel for nothing, but oh well. Decouple that, switch back to it, and then say retro orbit, get rid of this thing. And actually, I should have put this on by uh, throttle. Now I probably have to do it for all of them. Just so I don't have to hold the thing in the whole time. Okay, RCS on and Z. And then it burns. And I'm just going to leave it. Let it burn. Now we have to dock. Let's F5 this thing again. Of course, with that thing out of the way, we're also going to hopefully get one or two more frames. That's a few more parts that we lose. So this thing is now our target. This is always difficult for me to control from a port like this. Hmm. I probably should though. Control from here and of course we are on the wrong side so I just need us to roll around. No, you see the controls are all wrong. That thing should be out of range soon. Now, of course, we don't have advanced controls here for it to lock onto the target. 
13 frames now ish it's real problems all right we're pointing the right way but now can i control this thing that's the other thing now if i say no I'm locked again see what we get now can we What's that doing? Not sure. Oh, it's because it's on fine controls. Good grief, what the... I need to think here. What do I need to do? I need to move us down. Now, which one is down now? Hey, yeah, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm doing here. If I again, yeah, 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 no, I want to control from here. It just makes more sense for me. At least I know what the controls are. All right, so for this, let's go back to free camera and just get closer and then I'll switch back to that thing again so in this case N you see N didn't work there for some reason I don't know just want to get us aligned this should show it though although this is now messing it up probably mm, just have to be guesswork here then Come on. Just has to move into position over this port, then it'll be easier. Everything is slow motion because of the terrible frame rate here. I'll have to play around with this, comrades. All the solar panels and all of that as well, it's uh, one of those things. It's been a very long time since I've built a craft with so many parts. Are we still moving? Good grief. Let's put some fire on this thing. Get us closer as well. Is that right? Uh, we're getting there. Okay, let's cancel this out all right now where does this leave us okay just f5 this again now say control from here wish we could lock to the target okay now if i what does I do? Nothing I can tell. Oh, it pushes us. No, it doesn't do anything. And K doesn't, doesn't seem to do anything. Now, I'm not sure I can just move us sideways. That's not right. And I... No, H and N also don't do anything from this angle. Why is that? What am I doing wrong? Docking mode, maybe? No, again, it's only the sideways stuff. Eesh. No, we'll just have to control from here again. I at least moves us closer. And then I also want us to go in again. We'll get there. 
I'm not even gonna bother trying to line this up, I just wanna dock, that's all. Okay, I also think we need to move the other way. Good grief, everything is so slow! I might just dock like this. It might not work, but I'll try. Slow us down a little, and then what do I need to do then? Okay, let me think about this story. Uh, okay, we're still going the right way. As soon as this thing looks like it's lined up, I'll just cancel out our reverse motion here almost okay and then I move us closer should have enough mono propellant I don't think that'll be a problem yeah we might actually make it like this although I think we need to move up a little Okay, just F5 again in case we hit too hard here. I really don't understand the controls if you control from there and it's... It doesn't seem to work properly. Pure guesswork. This might actually work. Good grief. Alright, just a little eye and turn off all of the SAS and see what happens. Contact. Almost. Bang. We've docked. We've done it, comrades. Against all odds and we have 12 frames per second. But there we are. Uh, I'm going to have to figure this business out here. I think I might have to put a probe core in there to help us with the docking or something. I just don't understand how the controls line up. But anyway, that will help for future docking. So there we are with our mirror and shuttle now. So we have a docking uh, connector there, which I think actually looks really nice. Uh, I know it's not the orange that it's supposed to be, but it at least looks different than the white, which is the predominant color here. Now, actually, we should control from that docking port and point towards the ground. So this would be radial in, I think. Because that's how it should be. The shuttle should be on the bottom there, towards the planet. Of course, this is all going to be a slow motion dance now. But we are here. We've made it. Good grief. I'm happy with this, comrades. I'm proud of myself because at least I'm back in action again. Let's probably for good reason just say auto strut this thing, if I can. Now, but is that going to work? Because it's going to count itself as the root part. I'm not sure. Oh, well, you don't have to worry about that. We won't be staying here forever. I'll keep this docked here for now, though. We uh, I'll probably have to bring it down before we bring the last module, which has to go on the top here, just because of the parts and all of that. Let's have a look at the part count. Part count, 788 parts, comrades, 117 tons in orbit. So there we are, almost 800 parts. Good grief, who would have thought? 11 frames. I'm going to play around with this and see if I can improve it. And uh, good grief, we're uh, twisting around here a little bit. Why is that? Hmm. Things are just settling here. Anyway, there is, of course, our uh, thumbnail for this episode. Bang! And I'll see you next time, comrades. Hopefully it won't be as long before the, the next one. I hope you've enjoyed, and thank you, as always, for your support. 
Have a fantastic day, comrades.